Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. So the brand new Augment for Hammer is here. It's called Revolver. It has six shots in it and every three shots you're guaranteed to go to critical hit. Of course, the reload is a little bit slower, but from what I've seen so far, it looks pretty darn good. It is of course new to the Halloween event. Man, I love this freaking garage. Great job tanky with the garage. They had it last year and I think the year before, but every time they have it, it's just so nice. And of course, if you're going to buy any containers in the shop, don't forget to go to settings, account, and choose creator tag Tasman's helps me a ton. So let's hop into a battle and see how good this thing actually is. Now, personally, I'm a fan of the Hammer Assault Magazine augment, just because I really enjoy how fast that freaking shoots. It's just fun for me. But the big downside of that augment is that if you are in a battle where it's pretty long range, you're kind of screwed because at the end of the day, it's really, really a short range augment. Whereas this one, you actually can use mid range a lot more effectively. Now, there's probably going to be a lot more people using protection in this battle and in future battles because whenever there's a new augment for a turret everybody sees it and usually puts on protection against that turret now the damage per normal shot isn't that great but getting that guaranteed critical hit every single three shots is i think where this turret's going to shine you can also see the update of the brightness in darkness battles they increase the actual shadows a little bit more and in doing so, I think they also increase the brightness. I'm honestly, I can't tell if I'm a huge fan of it yet, just because it seems a bit too bright for dark maps. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. I imagine I'll get used to it. This battle's not that much fun. But look how many of their teammates are just sitting in the base. Look how many of my teammates are just sitting. Okay, I like how Polygon looks in the new nighttime settings. Because usually Polygon in nighttime, I'm not a huge fan of it. Like, I'm not a huge fan of nighttime maps in general. But I think this change makes nighttime maps just a little bit more interesting to play on. It feels more like you have a full moon going on. Whereas normally night maps just felt very, very dark. And so after a little bit, I would kind of get annoyed at them. Everyone has hammer protection right now. That's pretty rough. Okay, crit shot there was nice. Nice, we got him. I've also been seeing every single person with Defender right now. That just makes me want to use Smokey with the Jammer Augment even more because, man, it is so annoying to go against people with Defender because they just have so much health. Not to mention, like, four of their teammates have Heavy Holes. Heavy Holes with Defender? Oh my, like, what is this? Why do they all have Heavy Holes? I don't understand this. Okay, this guy has Lifeguard. That's fine. Uh-oh. Yep, don't want to go against Defender. You can have fun over there, buddy. I'm going to sit over here and try to take some shots. Let's look at the range here. So, okay. Get that guy. Nice. Dude, those guaranteed crit shots do so much damage. Okay, this guy's 50 prod against crits. Okay, that's fine though. 760 damage for a normal shot when he has double armor. Not that bad, honestly. I could definitely see this augment being really, really powerful in modes where the players are a little bit less obnoxious because obviously you have to deal with the stupid protections and stupid defender in this battle but it's honestly not that bad like i'm still off to a really decent start even with all of the different hand protections defender drones like it's not that bad 1500 damage when he doesn't have double armor okay well i guess i can show you this if you're using crisis or the new oracle drone tanky added new animations when you use supplies so there's double damage here's double or sorry there that was double armor that was double damage and this is double speed I like the double speed effect. It just kind of adds a... It, it's, it's very aesthetically pleasing to see that. I'm not going to lie. Unfortunately, it's only on Crisis right now. I think they might do that just to kind of help reduce the amount of spam you'd see for that because I feel like that might get annoying after a little bit but if it's only an effect on crisis I could definitely see people enjoying it a lot. I mean I kind of like it. I remember in Tanky X when you used the supply it would change your actual hole. I thought that whole idea was pretty darn cool. Obviously this isn't Tanky X though so they're not really going to be making changes for Tanky X all the time. All right, go ahead and use my nice. Okay. I do like the effect. I feel like it might get annoying. So I hope there's kind of a slider so you can turn it off because it is cool, but I feel like it would definitely get annoying over time. Okay. My gosh. Freeze, man. Freeze is so OP. This guy's low too, right? Dude, what the heck? 50% crit protection is OP against this augment because I think this augment kind of relies on that critical shot a little bit. I mean, mainly it's just because this battle, because two people have hand protection and every single person has freaking defender. But you know what? Let's leave a battle and see if I can get a better one. Man, I love the demonic hole. I'm just, I'm hoping that Tanky just surprises us with a demonic hole this year. It's just, it would suck if we don't get a demonic hole to go with shaft demonic. Because you can see it here. Honestly, it doesn't look as impressive as the other turrets we usually got. Because Hammer Demonic, before they updated the HD version of Hammer, it was basically completely unique. Whereas now we have the HD version of Hammer, it kind of looks like Demonic, just without the whole red and Demonic theme. And then we also had Firebird Demonic. That one looks just incredible. I mean, you can't even compare that to normal Firebird. 
It's freaking awesome looking, okay? Get that guy. I have like five people looking at me and a bunch of people have Defender. That is ridiculous, man. I think Defender definitely needs a nerf just because it's the most used drone right now. Either Defender or Crisis need that armor nerf. Just, I mean, it's nice having that, but I feel like it's just overused right now. That's basically the only drone I ever see is either Defender or Crisis. Every once in a while, I'll see like Booster or something, but Hyperion's my favorite drone to use just because it's nice to have my supplies all the time, never having to worry about it. Okay, this guy's so AIDS. Please die. Oh my gosh. Thank you, teammate. Saved my life. I'm honestly happy that Tanky finally released every single status effect augment in the game. If we got another status effect augment for Halloween, I would have been disappointed. I know I say I don't really like augments in the game because there's just so many of them at this point, but I do enjoy when Tanky adds unique augments because I think this augment qualifies enough for the unique type, I guess, description. Because at the end of the day, Tanky's going to keep adding augments. They're not going to change it. I, I understand that augments are a big part of money for Tanky. So overall, if we're going to get augments, I like it when Tanky releases unique augments so that they're not just going to be super, super OP and they can at least be unique and fun. Okay, dude, I'm getting focused by freaking four guys. What is this bull crap? Okay, uh, yeah, we're leaving. We're leaving. No kills for you guys. Yeah, that is the hammer revolver augment. Pretty darn fun, super unique, looks incredible when I can use a fun combo. Uh, it just, it's, it's a fun overall augment. I'd give it a solid eight out of 10. It's not the most OP thing ever released in the game, but I think it's strong enough to make people actually want to get the augment. But yeah, don't forget to use Critic Tech Tasmans. I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace out.